What's up, everyone? Crazy Crew here. Woo! Woo! And we just came back from seeing Frank, Frank and Weenie. Weenie. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. <laughs> it is October 6th. And, of course, because it's October, that means it's Halloween. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's Halloween, not Doctor Who. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> yes, yeah, so, of course, you know, we want to celebrate this right, so we saw this movie Mad Late, and, of course, we didn't eat beforehand, so we're, now we're at White Castle. Here it is right here. Mm -hmm. Eat White Castle, because we're stupid. Because <laughs> we don't eat. Yes. No, 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 we do eat. Then again, I do eat. Quite a lot, really. <laughs> Human garbage is full here. <laughs> <laughs> so... So yeah, anyway, on to the movie. Um, this movie was awesome. This movie was awesome. <laughs> yes. Um, for the for those of you who don't know, uh, Frank and Weenie is a remake of a Tim Burton uh, short film that he did like sometime in the in the late eighties. Um, it was live action. I think it was only like thirty five minutes or so, and like at the time, it was considered way too scary for kids. If you look at it by today, like today, by today's standards, it's extremely tame. But the updated version, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> it may give your kids nightmares. Yes, we are not kidding about that. Yes, there are some scary moments in there. I mean, there, mm. there are. Actually, there's more like creepy moments than there are like scary. I mean, the real scary moments is really like in the third act. You yeah. know, when like. When all the monster, when you have like all the the animals coming back to life again, and then all of a sudden, that's when. Oh yeah, we should mention spoilers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Disclaimer. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Anyway. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> Anyways, yes, as you know, there is animals <clears throat> coming back to life in this. If the you know the commercial, if the commercials mm -hmm. and trailers didn't indicate enough. Yes. And of course. As it's, as you know, as it's being obvious in the title, it is a tribute to the to the movie Frankenstein, but and, with a twist. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there's also like numerous references to other raw horror movies of the past in it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, oh yeah. Let's talk about the characters. Um, so. let's see. The it's well, the, the main ca I mean, the, the main, main character, character is uh, Victor Frankenstein. Yes, but he's subtle. Mm -hmm. I know, but he's a little kid. But that, but that's the whole point. That's the whole point, though. It's supposed to be like a take on Frankenstein, mm. and it's a cute take on it. It's about this boy who really who just who loves his dog so much that he wants to, you know, bring it back to life. And mm -hmm. it, it's a nice. It, I like the setup for that. And he learns how to bring the dog back to life from uh, this from this new science teacher, mm -hmm. which I like because he's voiced by Martin Landa, who was mm -hmm. in another was, Tim Burton it was movie. Was awesome. He was in another Tim Burton movie. He was in Ed Wood. He was uh, Bella Lugosi. Pull the string! <laughs> I also want to mention, I forget the kid's name who voices Victor Frankenstein, but he actually comes from uh, New Jersey. He's actually close by where I live. In, uh, he lives in Glen Rock. <laughs> yeah. Or he's from Glen Rock. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so he finds out, you know, about you know, reanimating the dead, and he uses it to bring his dog back to life, and he succeeds, mm -hmm. and the rest of the, much of the movie is just him hiding the fact that he was able to do it, and then, of course, he has this, he has a, has one friend who looks like, you know, like Igor, but his name's Edgar, appropriately. Subtle. Mm. So. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he, so, Edgar is the one who finds out about it, he shows him how he does it, and. He tried. And, yeah, he blackmails him into uh, to showing him. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, in, in, ca in case it wasn't already implied, there's a lot of pseudoscience in this. Um, <laughs> of course, there is, you know, an experiment that they show where if you apply electricity to a dead creature, their their muscles will, you know, spasm. You know, it will still react to mm. it, even though all the cells are dead. But they take it a step further by saying, oh, well, if you pump it full of enough energy, you can bring it back to life. <laughs> should also be mentioned... There's logic. <laughs> <laughs> it should also be mentioned that uh, they they do throughout, in, in, in the beginning of the movie, they pretty much explain that, oh, you know, there's some phenomenon with uh, with... The, the location, the, what is it, New... Uh, New Holland. New Holland, <laughs> that for whatever reason, it's, uh, they're, they're getting frequent storms 
something something about the the, the way the land is situated, but it, it just it creates a lot of storms very frequently. It just creates an, it yeah. also creates an excuse, you know, to do the experiment. Yeah, uh, but the <laughs> fact is that they at least established that, so it's like. You know, you're not just saying, oh, wow, really? They're having another storm? What? <laughs> and I think it would have been easier yeah. if they said they just lived in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just rain. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking New, New Holland was on, like, the west. Like, like, it's like, I'm thinking so hard. It's like, where it is in, in America. I'm like, like, where is New Holland? Where is New Holland? <laughs> and I'm just, and I don't know. I was thinking it was on the west coast because of the lightning, but I don't know. Eh. Maybe it's just me. I could be wrong. Eh. Um... Let's call this uh, hometown USA. Mm. That's that's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's anywhere. It's south of Springfield. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, like we said, you know, Victor. Here, here's the weird thing. Um, Victor's supposed to be sort of like you know this withdrawn kid who doesn't really have any friends aside from his dog. And, you know, is considered weird because, you know, he's obsessed with science, he's obsessed with fixing things and all that, and he doesn't play sports or do any of that stuff like normal kids do. And, it, yeah, and, and at one point his dad says, like, he's afraid of his son being considered weird. Then you meet his classmates. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my freaking God. <laughs> Well, who do we start with? We already mentioned the Igor kid. You know, the kid who is blatantly an Igor, you know... Type character. Type character. You know, he has the hunch. He's, he speaks with the weird, creepy, like, tone and everything. He has the creepy little fingers. You know, he's like Igor down to a T, except that he might be a little more malicious. Because, mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, I was kind of expecting him to be one of those, you know... uh what was it? What, what, sidekick. What, yeah, character, one of those sidekick yeah. characters. You know, who that's what him. I was hoping. That was what I was hoping for also, because it's like it's like already they have everything else established. They already yeah. have the Frankenstein. They got the monster. You know, they have the. I mean, they have the assistant. They might as well let the assistant. You know, be you know his sidekick or whatever, his best friend. But no, it doesn't really play off that way. Yeah. If anything, he's more of an antagonist than he is a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really. And actually, the same can be said for the rest of the students. <laughs> in a, yeah, in a sense. Because there's this. Because what happens in the story is that there's this big science fair, and all the kids are basically competing against one another to, excuse me, to come out. You know, to have the the, the best science project ever to win a trophy. Mm -hmm. And in That's the mid, yeah, in the midst of all this, um, what you call, um, uh, Victor wants to try out, he want, wants to submit something for the uh, the science fair, but his dad won't let him because he wants him to do both science, and he wants him to try out for a sport, <laughs> and yeah. he does, and the result is that it gets his dog killed. Mm. Way to go, Dad. Yeah. So, yeah, in the midst of all this, uh, uh, Victor's dog, Sparky, gets hit by a car, and the, you know, the, the parents are trying to tell him, you know, to, to cope with the loss, but he can't give it up. And then, during his, uh, one of his science classes, the, uh, the teacher sort of puts it into his mind, you know, he's demonstrating how electricity can reanimate uh, a frog, and of course that that gets into uh, Victor's head. So, oh, if it works for a frog, maybe I can, you know, bring Sparky back to life, and obviously it works. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it is just, you know, it just sets up for, you know, other shenanigans. You know, just him trying to hide the mm -hmm. dog, making sure nobody hears about it. But eventually, word does get out, mm -hmm. and they all try doing their own experiments and. Mm -hmm. More, and They're all trying to beat each other with, with you know, pet uh, rejuvenation. I, I love yeah. how, I love how at one point when they start rejuvenating the pets, it's almost kind of like it it, all, it immediately starts paying homages to some of the other stuff. I kind of saw, obviously, with there was a little bit of Godzilla in there. There was a little bit of it took me a while. At first, I thought it was Creature of Black Lagoon, but now when I think about it again, it's it's actually Gremlins. If you think about it. Yeah, I mean, it could probably be a mesh of ever of anything. I guess it's open to interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you know, it's 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 definitely like all you know. Everything just seems to be some sort of reference to a horror movie of the past. Yeah. You know, yeah. subtle or not so. Like, mm -hmm. um, I want to get into the character. I want to get into the characters a little bit more. Um, like there was one character who looked exact, who looked like Boris Karloff, and mm -hmm. I liked that. Yes. 
he had the the exact facial expression, you know, the exact you know look, you know, the eye, you know, mm -hmm. the the half droopy eyes. The yeah, he was really tall. He <laughs> he walked like Frankenstein, and he even had like sort of the accent, like a really weird accent. He actually reminded me more of Igor than the Igor yeah. kid did. It was weird. Mm -hmm. And then spoilers. He he winds uh, up in a in a mummy reference. I like yeah. I, I like that because he he was the original he was the original mummy mm -hmm. <laughs> as well as well as the Frankenstein monster. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was I thought that was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. um, 